Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to thank you so much because of your love. And again, I'm so grateful because of your continuity to support this channel. William Samuruto's UDA party is in ICU. In fact, in political ICU. Which, according to me, this come after they had already finalized their nomination and the winning candidates have already received their uh, nomination ticket. But the truth, truth to be said is that the UDA party is facing a lot of challenge when it comes to these aspirants that uh, were declared that they lost the nomination. I want to uh, try to categorize the way now this thing is happening in the UDA party that might land UDA party popularity to reduce the way they were <laughs> having massive supporters and of course uh, massive aspirants across the Republic of Kenya. What I want to say that uh, I want to recommend uh, that uh, it is for the first time for UDA party to conduct nomination uh, election, which according to me they have tried their best. But what is now bringing up UDA party in ICU is that uh, now it seems like these aspirants that lost the nomination, they are threatening UDA party that if UDA party will not take action to their claims and issues when it comes to rigging election, that they are going to the camp UDA party. Of course, there are some of them are declaring to go uh, with an independent uh, candidature and some are declaring that they are not going to vie for any seat, but they are going to declare to support Azimula Umoja. Number three, some of them are declaring that they are ready to destroy and to ensure that they are going to use their resources to ensure that they damage UDA party. The issue comes after now these candidates and a number of candidates across the Republic of Kenya who are the candidates uh, of UDA party when it comes to the nomination election. They are claiming that they were rigged out when it comes to this nomination. And I want to say that uh, this nomination issue of rigging has come out uh, in different counties across the Republic of Kenya. Starting with Kiambu County, Jago is claiming that uh, he was rigged out, specifically speaking that uh, even his name was not uh, uh, clearly placed when it comes to the ballots, that even his photo was not uh, uh, simplifying and uh, uh, even the voters who were struggling to identify him. Number two is that... Uh, in Bomet, they are claiming that also there was rigging, Bomet County. Also in Kajiado, Tobiko, I think, also is claiming and uh, bringing a lot of problem, threatening to run with an independent candidature. There are those also in Tarakaniti, there are those in Nairobi County, people like Jaguar, so many people, when it comes to Nakuru, there are those people there. When it comes to, I think it was Singishu tried to do it a, 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 a bit peaceful, but some people were claiming there. Nakuru and uh, when it comes to Kisi, when it comes to Nyamera, people are complaining. But Kenyans, what are the repercussions of this issue of rigging election 
when it comes to UDA nomination. Number one, it has brought now a lot of mistrust and misunderstanding between these aspirants that has lost the nomination election in the UDA party, now claiming that UDA party is not a party to deal with. It's a party that does not uh, deal with fair and free election. That the, uh, the election was shambolic and shame. Number two, this party was so popular and we can and we must recognize this. But the issue that is coming uh, critically is that now the, the aspirants that has been submitted with these tickets of nomination, they are now afraid to face this now some their contestors when it comes to now they're going with the independent candidature, of course. In case they were rigged out, is like these candidates going with the independent, they are going to win election, which according to me is going to be and is going to be a shame, of course, to UDA master, that is William Ruto, and of course the UDA brigade and of course Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Number three, the popularity of UDA party is now coming down because now the aspirants that were claiming that they were rigged out, they are hitting UDA party seriously. I adding mileage to Azimio Omoja. I don't want to be biased. I want to say whatever my, I think and whatever the way I've uh, understood and uh, I have seen this nomination the way they have been done. But what next for William Sonoruto is to ensure that how is he going now to bring these all candidates together, which according to me other candidates have declined, that they are not going to understand or speak or to have a consultative meeting with the UDA party. And of course this is uh, something that is going to bring division wrangles between the UDA party. And of course they are going to face it now. Because candidates are that now are declaring to go with the independent, they are likely to win. Which according to me it is possible. Many candidates with independent has been winning this election since 2013 and 2017. So it is not something that is new. So what are our expectations, Kenyans, when it comes to you after UDA nomination? They must ensure that these aspirants that is claiming to be rigged out, they must listen to them, bring them on board, and explain to them what are the issue or what next for them. Or if then there's something opposition that they can be fit on, it means that they can maintain them and to move forward. But when it comes to their allegation and when it comes to their, their issue and their ideologies, it, it is putting UDA party in ICU. Kenyans, what are your intake? Do you have opinion and reasons? Drop it at the comment section below so that we can compare and see if UDA is really in ICU. So otherwise, thank you so much because of watching this video. For those who are visitors, subscribe. For those who are return subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Continue liking, sharing, and commenting. You are doing a great job in this channel, and I'm saying thank you so much because of your love. I'm feeling that love, and I'm so much grateful. So thank you so much. God bless you. Till next time, bye-bye.